Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is it possible just by listening to me on this camera to really cure yourself permanently of blushing? Well, let me tell you that it is. Now, how do I know that? I know that because I've worked with hundreds of people for blushing, for social anxiety, and many other problems over the years. And every single one of them, with the right attitude, with the right understanding of themselves, can easily move themselves forward to a point where it's simply no longer a problem in their life, to a point where it no longer matters to them and they don't even consider it or think about it anymore in their life. Now just imagine for yourself how it would feel. Just imagine if a month's time from now, blushing wasn't even something you thought about. It was no longer on your mind. Every single situation you found it easy to speak naturally and comfortably. Now I'm sure that's something that you'd like to happen. Now. Obviously, as I'm not sitting there with you, I can't guide you through this, how I would do a client in real life. But what I can do is let you know that by really having the right attitude, by really choosing to be one of the 1% of people who actually takes action rather than just thinks about wanting to change, by being the 1% who really chooses, really makes a decision to say, right, whatever it takes, I'm going to follow Paul, that he use his step-by-step -step method to permanently move forward from these feelings of anxiety or from the redness I have in my face. Now, the first step, today's first step, <coughs> is really to understand that blushing is just a pattern. It's any habitual emotion we experience on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, is something that we've conditioned ourselves to naturally do. So. You blush because you've conditioned yourself to blush. Now obviously you didn't consciously choose that, but a set of circumstances arose. You chose to act in a certain way that led you to feel a feeling in your stomach that led your skin to flush bright red. And then from then, you become more anxious, more worried about it happening. The more worried about it happening, the more anxious you get, naturally, guess what, the more it happens. Now just choose to accept, although I can't force anyone to do that, but just choose to accept that it's just a pattern. That it's simply thinking certain things in your head, imagining certain things in a certain situation, by the way you act, by the way you feel, by the way you carry your body, by the way your physiology is, that causes you to blush. Now knowing that, knowing it is a pattern, you can simply change it. Now although you might have tried lots of things before in the past, let's just leave that in the past for the moment. But really understanding it as a pattern that means like any pattern in your life, you can change. Now people come in to see me at work with you know disastrous patterns that cause them huge emotional turmoil and even these people can easily change when they approach things in the correct way. And that's what we're doing here today. We are approaching it in a way that means that you can take control of this permanently in your life so that it's no longer a problem. Now what's the benefit of doing that? The benefit of doing that means that every single area of your life, whenever you have an emotion that you don't like, whenever you have a pattern, a habit that you want to change or improve in your life, you'll have the confidence, you'll have the ability, you'll have the proof from your past that this is something that you can do, this is something that you can achieve. Now, looking at blushing as a pattern, I'd like you to imagine, I'd like you to imagine that it's really just a set of connections, a set of neurons you know, in your brain that causes you to always follow that pattern. But you have to do things habitually in order to always feel that way. Now, one of the main things you have to do is be worried about blushing. If you weren't worried about blushing, you simply wouldn't blush. It's self-perpetuating. So imagine the first time you blush, you experience emotion, you feel a terrible feeling, and then from then on you're worried of it. But the worrying feeling is the same feeling as actually a blushing feeling. So the more you imagine that worried feeling, the more you're conditioning yourself to actually blush whenever those situations arise. Really knowing in yourself that you have to become quite introverted in order to blush. You have to be not speak, not express yourself in that moment, not know what to do, feel nervous. And then bang, your skin turns bread. So your skin turns <laughs> bread. <laughs> your skin turns red. But really knowing that means the best way to break the pattern is to do the something opposite. Opposite of being introverted, opposite of being worried, opposite of being scared. So all I suggest to you, you can ignore what I say if you choose, or you can actually be one of the few people that actually takes action. So imagine it's just a pattern, and the more habitually you do it, the more you blush. So choosing to break that pattern means as soon as you do something different, your mind, your body, you have the opportunity to feel and think a different way, which leads your skin 
to be different, to not turn red, to have a smile on your face, to not feel so tense, to whatever it is, just, just giving your mind and your body another option. Whereas at the moment it's this, think this way, feel this way, act this way, I blush. The more I follow the pattern, the more I repeat it, the more I compound it, the more I get stronger in my life. So we're going to choose to break that pattern today. And the way we're going to do that is, any time, in any situation where you think you might blush, where you think you're worrying about blushing, where you're thinking about it, where you feel slightly anxious at all, immediately in that situation, what you're going to do is, you're going to break your state. Now, what's the point of that? Because it's breaking the pattern, beginning to break that pattern, opening it up for you then to change it in a way that's best for you in your life. Now, the way you're going to do that is you're going to do anything that's the direct opposite <laughs> to, to the way you're thinking and the way you feel. So, if you see, <laughs> so if you're in a situation where you suddenly become introverted, I want you to do anything. I want you to do a press up. Sounds really silly, doesn't it? I want you to shout, "Hell yeah!" I want you to do absolutely anything. Even I want you to just just change your physiology. So in that moment, you're starting to feel a bit and just instantly put your shoulders back, start speaking loudly, quickly, instantly change your physiology, refuse to follow that old pattern. Now, I want you to consciously do this all day today, consciously do it in every situation. Whenever you feel any worry things, any negative feelings, any negative thoughts, any situation where you have a thought that the blushing might arise, instantly do something to change, to stop that pattern from naturally going the way it is. Even if that's running away from the situation without, <laughs> without telling you only what you're doing. Anything to break that pattern. And doing that one thing is going to be taking you a huge way towards permanently moving forward in your life. I can't force you to do this. It's something you need to choose to do for yourself. Now you may feel that it is a good thing for you, or you might have felt it's something you can't do, but even if it's a small thing, anything to try and break that pattern permanently. Now what you're doing by doing that is opening up your mind to perceive things, to act, to feel in a new way, a way that's right for you. Now, crack that out over the next 24 hours. I'll see you tomorrow.